Okay, again, we're in um, MA6 NSO 3.2, um, the benchmark, and we're using the distributive property to generate equivalent expressions. And here I have the multiplication fact written in all the ways that you're going to see it at some point. You know, these all represent how you can multiply. So um, the, the way the multiplication problem will be set up, it may have a dot, it may have the traditional multiplication symbol, but it also may be written with these um, parentheses. So I wanted to show you that so you won't get um, confused. So as I taught you that when you're um, using the distributive property for, for uh, multiplication, we use what we call KBA. That means we keep the single digit and we break apart the second digit. So I'm gonna keep the single digit, which is the eight, and then I'm going to break apart the second digit by place value. So this is 63, so I have 60 plus three. And then I'm gonna set up the area model in order to solve it, right? So I'm gonna put an eight there, I'm gonna put 60 there, and three here. We're gonna always keep our little multiplication symbol in the corner, and we're gonna to remember to underline the basic fact, add the zero to the back. So eight times six is 48. I'm gonna write 48, but I see one zero between the numbers, so I'm gonna add it to, to the back, which gives it 480. And then eight times three, which is 24. And then this is the expression. The expression is, the equivalent expression is this. So eight times 63 is equivalent to eight and 60 plus three. And if I wanted to solve it, if it asks for the sum of the two numbers or asks for the product, I'm sorry, not the sum, but the product, I'm gonna just add 480 plus 24, which gives me four, 10, I keep the zero, regroup the one, and that is five. So my answer to that problem would be 504, okay? So remember, when we see the multiplication for the distributive property, we do what I call KBA. We keep the single digit, break apart the second digit, okay?